toolsmachinery.com. And I'm here today, I'm going to show you how to work with the drill chuck and the drill press to keep the chuck staying up in the drill press and to remove it when you need to. And also some ideas and tips about taking care of this chuck so that it stays, stays clean, stays in good shape. First thing is, when you get your drill press, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to bring your table up and you want to just like push down on the quill so that, so that the chuck gets pressed into that, that Morse taper that's in the chuck. Um, but when you want to remove the chuck, all you have to do is you're going to bring the chuck down. If you notice, there's a slot on the side. And that slot, if you turn the, the whole spindle, it comes around where there's an opening where you can see the key. And that will fit into the, into the opening. And all I have to do just wrap on it and the chuck will drop out. So if I just wrap on the handle, on the, the chuck drops right. The critical thing when you're trying to work with this or trying to get this to stay up in the drill press is to make sure this is just spotless clean. You can use mineral spirits, you can do anything. There can't be a drop of any kind of dirt on it or it will drop out when you least expect it like it did on me. Um, the other thing you do is a little bit of talc powder, just a touch, will help to, to hold so you can get it up in there and it'll stay. Also make sure you clean out inside this Morse taper up in the quill. That's important also. So you saw how easy it was to get that out. And to get this back in, let's clean this up. So just a matter of getting this up into, into the Morse taper and then bringing this down so that it'll open. Come on. I have to loosen this feet. There we go. That'll allow me to come down to the table. Then I can tighten it in. A little bit more. That's good. So now, all I'm going to do is take this down so that the, the quill, chuck, make sure the calls, the, the key, the call teeth are up into the chuck so you're not bearing down on those, creating pressure. And all I'm doing is just racking down on this. It'll stay in there if I get it right. There it is. There we go. So that's all there is to it in, in terms of getting this up in there. This will stay in there as long as you keep it clean. Make sure you use, you just clean it spotless when you're putting it in. You don't let any dirt get in there. If it does start to fall out on you, all you have to do is just clean it, make sure inside and outside it's clean. And that, that's all there is to it, to replacing the check on a drill press.